Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at this product here and this is for blonde highlighted grey white hair. So as you can probably see it's grown out a little bit now. I have got silvery blonde highlights which I've had just before Christmas. I had them touched up for the wintry sort of festive season. Really really like them but however of course anybody will know with blonde hair that it does require it's that premium sort of service, that premium colour what requires a lot of nourishment, a lot of looking after and a lot of moisture you need to really pump the moisture into the hair and you need to make sure that you use lots of really rich conditioners looking after the condition of the hair and particularly then if you're using lots of heat um styling products that type of thing which can all as we know take a toll on our hair we really need to make sure that we're looking after it so for me very often i find which helps after i've shampooed and conditioned my hair I then find using like an oil or a leave-in spray and then styling my hair or if it's lasting at night I will then use a little bit of oil or a little bit of leave-in spray just so I've got that really nice fresh sort of canvas of hair to wash and start again in the morning. So this one here is by Provoke. Now if you have uh, looked on my channel before or if you are a subscriber thank you very much. If not please do subscribe. We have got some great material coming up on my channel and if not please have a look at my history on my channel as there is lots to view. Thank you very much for that. Now this is by Provoke Touch of Silver. Now I have had a look at the shampoo conditioner which I really really liked and looked after my hair and may I just say really neutralized the yellowy tones which come through naturally in my hair. As you can see it's very very silvery in some parts are even really quite white. What happens is because my hair is as you can see in my root line here naturally very dark my hair sort of throws back a very brassy yellowy tone after about th three days I would say probably about the third day and then I really start to see uh, like a yellowy brass tone come through my hair and then I need to have a look at what I'm going to use to get rid of that brassy tone and I thought okay so I really got on well with the provoked touch of silver shampoo conditioner range. I seen this when I was in a store um, a couple of days ago actually um, here in the UK called Morrison's. Um, now this was £3.50 and I've had a quick look online and that's about the going price um, here in the UK and everything of UK based stores. I don't know about anywhere else because I have found that it's a little bit difficult to get hold of online but I have seen it in the several supermarkets and stores here in the UK so it must still be uh, available to buy and purchase. So as I've mentioned it's for blonde, platinum, grey or white hair. It's a leave-in conditioner, multi-purpose conditioning spray with a castor oil that detangles and helps to protect, protect against heat damage and split ends and that's 100 mils. So straight off I use this straight away um, when I've, I've used I would say how much have I use this so I've had it for a couple of days so I've used it but a handful of times and I'm just going to go through my first impressions what I think about it and how it's going how it's left my hair. So how did I use it first of all? So last thing at night, I sprayed this through my hair and the blonde bits of my hair, which often can get a little bit dry and just need a bit more extra nourishment, a little bit more sometimes what a conditioner can offer. So I very often reach for a leave-in spray or an oil. Very often recently I've been using the LV L'Oreal Paris, uh, I think it's like a flower oil. Um, originally it was actually my mum's, it's in our family bathroom, but it works amazingly in my uh, highlighted hair. And that actually features on my channel as well, so please do have a look at that. Um, but this I thought, perfect to buy it, um, tried it. So what I done is I sprayed it through my hair straight away and the first thing I noticed was, which is really great, that the smell is the same, uh, the, exactly the same as the shampoo and the conditioner. So it's great that they all complement one another. So that really, really worked. That was really quite nice and I really did like that. Really quite professional, really sleek and fresh. Next, what I notice, it sprays really, really well. It's got a strong spray. And when I don't mean a strong smell, I mean it's got quite a power behind the spray. So you don't need to spray loads. It's horrible when you get a spray like that and you have to spray it and it's only a very small sort of spray and you end up using tons of it just to get through your hair. You don't need to do it with this. A few sprays throughout your hair and you've coated all of the cuticles of your hair. What I would say then, what really did surprise me is it's quite strange because once it's sprayed throughout the hair, what I found is it almost started to lather like a soap, like a shampoo product. And straight away I thought, well, this is a bit strange because I didn't think it was anything you had to wash out. And absolutely, you don't have, there's nothing to wash out at all. It's a leave-in conditioner spray. So number one, which I thought was a little bit odd, is it starts to sort of lather up into a bit of a rich lather to be honest with you. So I thought okay let's grab a comb and I brushed it through and then it sits back like you've got this bit of a cakey product in and I thought okay so note to self can't necessarily use this in the morning because it would be really really hard to style my hair. Um, 
I went to bed with it, woke up in the morning, and it did leave my hair feeling soft. I have to admit, I thought it was going to leave my hair a bit softer. It does offer nourishment to the hair, and it does look after the hair, but not as well as the conditioner in the range, which I think is a little bit strange. Um, I found that it was a good quality product. Again, it surprised me because of it sudded up, it lathered up when I sprayed it throughout my hair. Not particularly something I was looking for, and certainly not what I was expecting. So then I had a look on the back and I thought to myself, okay, so I'll just read it out to you here. Touch of Silver Leave-In Conditioner is a multi-purpose spray that conditions, detangles, and helps to protect against heat damage and split ends. I thought, okay, so I'll use it as a heat protectant. So then I actually, I actually done this this morning, just so I could say that I've got it in my hair now, and I have got it in my hair now. Because I was under the impression that being in this packaging and being part of the shampoo and conditioner range, that it would help against the yellowy tones in my hair. But there isn't actually anything in here, I don't believe, which is colour correcting. It's literally that They've used the packaging so it suits the range. Um, in here is more about condition and nourishment. So I was a bit disappointed because that's what I thought that it was going to help keep the yellowy tones at bay throughout the day in my hair after I've used the conditioner and the shampoo system. So that's a bit of a letdown, I feel, for me. And um, then when I sprayed it through my hair to dry my hair off, I shampooed and conditioned my hair. And then what I'm just using at the moment is the Alpazin uh, Leave-In uh, Energizer Liquid, just in my hairline throughout my hair, which I always do around about this time of the year, starting a new year, just to sort of keep those follicles awake. And just because I am growing my hair out to a bit more of a longer style, and I do find that it just grows out a little bit more quick with that. So I've got that in my hair today, and then I sprayed this through. Now, before I go on to say how it dried in my hair, I categorically know that when I use the Alpazin Leave-In Energizer, root tonic, that does not make my hair greasy at all. I can use tons and tons and tons of that. And where it's water-based, it does not leave it greasy. It dries super quick, super easy. It leaves my hair feeling really, really nice and my scalp revitalized. This, on the other hand, says that it protects against heat split ends damage. So I sprayed very, very little amounts of this throughout my hair this morning. And what I found straight away is where it's got an oil in there, and it rightfully says it's got castor oil in there, so of course I had the expectation of that, um, it takes an awful lot longer to dry your hair. So usually my hair, because it's quite fine, um, it looks thick, but this is all smoke and mirrors, it's quite, it's quite fine, to be honest, as you can see, I can move it all around, it's quite fine in texture. So it dries super quick, so about 10 minutes my hair's dry. Um, with this, it took me ages, I had to keep going and going and going and going through it. So theoretically, I'm using more heat, more prolonged heat on my hair, so it's quite counterintuitive. So that respect, I wasn't so pleased with it. Did it leave my hair super soft? It left it soft, but from what it says on here, I thought it would leave my hair smoother. And actually, I did find a little couple of areas I found were a little bit cakey, quite heavy. So if you have fine, long hair and you're a lady watching this, and you love that volume and that real flow to your hair, I do find that this probably wouldn't be the product for you. If you're a man and you've got spiky short hair and perhaps you have got naturally blonde hair and you want to use something as a conditioner of this, or you're like me, you've got the highlighter pieces, great, but just be careful because I do find it's quite a heavy product once it's on the hair. But then having said that, it doesn't say that it's light. It just says it's a multi-purpose conditioning spray. It says it results in one use, towel dry hair, spray evenly, blow dry, optional. That for me, I wouldn't use that first thing in the morning because I start work for around half past six in the morning working from home at the moment because of the pandemic. I'm up for usually around five just before, sometimes or a little bit later. Um, and if I'm styling my hair first thing in the morning, this would just make it an absolute nightmare because, yes, it looks after my hair to an extent, but it just took so long to dry, which was a little bit of a disappointment for me, to be quite honest with you. It does say it's suitable for daily use, and absolutely the shampoo and conditioner from this range is brilliant, but the leave-in spray, I wasn't so pleased with. Not really. And let's just tell you a little bit about it a little bit more. So avoid contact with eyes in case of contact, rinse thoroughly. And this is something which I wanted to pick up and it says use as, direct, use as directed. Not many products affect my scalp or my skin. This particular spray, for some reason, what is in here, I don't know, because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, so there's water in here, there's hydrogenated castor oil in here. Um, I can see a few other sort of sciencey sort of products in here. I can also see some things in here, sort of fragrance. I can see, I can see there's uh, citric acid in here. I can see there is centronello in here. So there's a few strong ingredients in here, to say the least. Now, sprayed all throughout my hair, I noticed it a little bit, but I noticed it more uh, in the previous days I've used it. And I haven't used it very much, bearing in mind, this is my first impressions of it. Um, but what I used it this morning, I used it and 
um, I sprayed a little bit in, in the bottom of my hair. So I don't know if you can see, but the bottom of my hair is growing. So, and I'm, I'm trying to just grow this out for a little bit more of a longer style. And um, this hair here, I don't know if you can see up against the light wallpaper here, I sprayed it in, um, and straight away I noticed on the nape of my neck, it started to really quite agitate my skin. And I had a look, and I haven't really got dry skin or anything like that at all, but it made my scalp a little bit red, my, uh, the nape of my neck a little bit red, and a little bit agitated. And when I parted my hair, it did make it a little bit sort of anguishy and a bit red as well. It died away, but... I haven't had many products do that at all, so it was really quite strange for me, actually. So that would be just something just to bear in mind as well, if you do have a sensitive scalp. And I haven't really got a sensitive scalp, but my skin on my face from about here downwards can be quite sensitive. So I do think that sometimes it has the potential to sort of flare up anywhere. And of course, anybody's skin can turn sensitive anyway. But I thought something to bear in mind. Overall, a good product, not an amazing one, but a good product. Um... I wouldn't necessarily use it as a heat protectant for me, what I would probably use, because my hair's quite long now, so I'd spray a little bit of an evening in after a shower or a bath, whatever, and if I don't want to sort of bother with a comb and sort of slicking it back so it looks smart or whatever, I would just take a normal band like what I've got here, and then sort of just do like a little bit of a, a low sort of tie here, because I don't leave it so it looks like a, a ponytail or anything like that, because that's not masculine, it does not suit me in the slightest at all. But what I do is I always turn the hair back down on itself, so you can't see, it doesn't scream out that I've got longer hair. Wow, look at that white piece here. <laughs> um, I do like the metallic highlights, I have to admit. So it doesn't, anyway, it doesn't scream out that I've got this sort of, like, top knot sort of type style. Um, but it does look after the hair, it does condition the hair. However, not amazingly. So out of about 10, I'd probably give it about a 6. So fairly good, to be honest with you. Then just before coming on to this uh, clip here, I took some time and I thought, let's just have a quick look at the reviews online. And I did that. And... I was very, very surprised to see that the... I've just done that because I've just sprayed something all over the front of me here. The spray it shouldn't have done that, but there's another tip. Just be really, really careful because I've just opened it and it's gone absolutely everywhere. Um, so that's not great. But I had a look at the reviews and I thought to myself, let's just have a look. And people do seem to love this product. They absolutely do seem to love this product. And there's part of me which says, OK, it's good, but it's not that good. But I think, of course, that's down to personal preference and personal view. And, of course, everybody's hair is slightly different. On the whole, a good product, not amazing. I hope this has helped. Thanks very much indeed for watching this clip. I have certainly enjoyed it. Um, I'm always looking for products which can help keep my highlighted hair as long as possible, especially throughout the pandemic now, looking super soft, shiny, but, of course, that nice metallic-y uh, look. So, for me, I was hoping it was going to help with sort of the colour correcting of the yellow tones. It doesn't sadly do that, in my opinion. Um, but overall, an okay product. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.